my favorite thing about the Traverse City Film Festival is that um, you can get popcorn for two dollars. <laughs> Where can you go in America and get popcorn for two dollars? It's a big ripoff, right? There's no dying dollar popcorn here. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> very much a filmmaker's festival. It respects the filmmaker as the artist. Community run, these are all volunteers, everybody working on it, so everybody's a stakeholder in it. And it's pretty relaxed, and there's a lack of pretension here. We're in Traverse City, Michigan. It's a collection of people that come in here from all over the world. We get filmmakers, we get film lovers, we get film producers, and they just go 17, 18, 19 movies they'll watch, and they just gorge on movies. Before there was the Traverse City Film Festival, I didn't know most of these people, and a lot of these people didn't know each other. It kind of brought us all together, and in this wonderful way of all these people who love movies and who love Traverse City. And then when you bring the people during the festival from all over the world who are kind of like us, and they all come, and we're all together here in Traverse City, it's really magical and it just like changes the whole atmosphere of downtown. And the day that we turned on that marquee and those lights were running, that became like the flame that the moths were drawn to. Business started staying open at night, restaurants started filling up. Now Friday night is date night. You can't get a parking place even in the middle of the winter in Traverse City. So that's been a magnet and an attraction for business in downtown. I think people wanted it. They wanted it because if you wanted to see a foreign movie here, you'd have to drive to Ann Arbor. That's a four hour drive. If you want to see a documentary in a movie theater, same thing, Ann Arbor, Detroit, four hour drive. I think people do want to drive four hours. Why can't we see them here? And that's what we did, that's what we've done. It never gets boring. <laughs> There's always something new. Michael has great ideas, like uh, movies on a boat and uh, movie around the world. Um, every year there's, there's something new and we're always growing and expanding and improving what we're doing, but this never gets boring. And so I, that's, I think that's what I like the most about it. Every last little detail is looked at over and over and over and researched. We have to make certain that the film lovers are well cared for, that the visitors are well cared for. The green rooms are better than any place else in the world. Every last detail's better, and they all think we're nuts. They can't believe everybody is so nice and everything's so figured out, and they all want to come back every year. Well, I've been to a lot of film festivals, so I, I, I sort of constructed this in the way that I would I always thought if I could do a film festival, I'd do it this way. I think the thing I like best are the ideas that the films present. And it takes people who otherwise wouldn't ever leave Traverse City or leave the United States into other countries so you could see how the world is thinking and how the world is living. No matter which of the theaters that we build that you go into, it, you're in like the best possible theater you could be in in this country. The projection is perfect, the sound is perfect, the seats are comfortable, short people can see the screen, tall people don't get kneecapped. It's a comfortable experience. But in 10 years from now, that's a really supreme question. I don't know. My gut says we're still around, we're still doing business, more people will be coming. Michael really likes us to have world-class standards, you know, he wants us to be the best we can possibly be, and so it's always a great puzzle to try to figure out how to make that happen. I try to change it up every year. I try to make it different every year. So I'm always coming up with new ideas and new things or whatever uh, to keep it active and alive and take some risks. Um, and uh, so I hope that 10 years from now, that we'll still be doing that. Mm -hmm.